who needs to go to sleep when I've got you next to me? Okay, what what do you think about Dula Peep? Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. Um, <laughs> as you know, um, I did my quarantines dance to her let's get physical i did it to that and it was so much fun i definitely like i've haven't i haven't given dua i i always want to say dua peep now i haven't given dua lipa dua lipa a chance because i absolutely hate the song one kiss every time i hear it i want to take a gun to like the speaker it's coming out of <laughs> like i hate hate it hate it you know when you like work at a place and a song comes on and then it's completely ruined for you forever? I don't know for certain, but I I I just remember hearing that song like every day. I don't remember if it was at school or work, but it's I I I hate it. I hate hearing that song. And then her song New Rules is just like annoying and so I just like didn't So those two songs were like the only songs that I knew by her, okay? And then she did that Grammy's performance with St. Vincent and the gay in me was like Yes. Um, so I loved that. Um, but I haven't given her a chance. And I said after the physical dance that I would give her a chance. After I did that physical, I would give her a chance. Um, I also wanted to talk about quarantines for one second, do some housekeeping for my channel. Unfortunately, I have decided that um, for health reasons, for obvious health reasons, if you guys don't know, I do have an eating disorder. Um, it is not wise for someone like me to attempt to dance for two hours every day and expect to get away with it. So I've decided to try to maybe do one video a week, two videos. Let me know in the comments down below. Honestly, not too many people check out my quarantines videos anyways, so I hope that no one's like mad about it. I, I don't think anyone will be, but I just wanted to announce that here um, and just let people know like, sorry, I won't be doing them every day anymore because physically it was awful. And um, Dua Lipa's, Dua Lipa, Dua Lipa's new album. Um, I know that I'm like a little late for the trend, but that's okay. I said I wanted to get into her music, and like I said, I thought it'd be fun to celebrate, have some fun vibes. So here we fucking go. All right, so here is Future Nostalgia by Dua Lipa. This is my first time ever listening to it. The only song on here that I've heard is Physical. So here we go. I'm 32 seconds in and honestly I don't want to listen to the rest of it but I want to give her a chance because I really did like physical and I think she showed us her range and I love 80s um like new wave I support completely I love it Christine the Queen's one of my favorite people on the planet please listen to her music her album chris has many songs um girlfriend that have that new wave like 90s 80s new funk soul beat i support that this however sounds like disney channel ass like dance party bop music i'm gonna continue but i do want to skip i'm not a fan of future nostalgia i'm only 30 seconds in so let's see what happens Okay, I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. I actually can't listen to it anymore. I hate it. I, I'm not a fan. We're going to the next one. We're going to the next one. This song makes me feel like I work at a boba shop again and we're packed and everyone's yelling and someone's asking me like if I can take the sugar out of the boba balls. Like I just, I this song gives me like boba shop forever 21 mall vibes. I like that like maybe, baby, but I don't, I don't know. I'm a little like, I'm a little scared because I was really excited, I liked physical, but I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna actually listen to the whole album. I don't wanna skip, but if it's, 
if I don't like something within the first 30 seconds, it's really hard for me to stay committed. So we're 38 seconds in. <laughs> so um, I don't know. Okay, so I love that I am a huge fan of cowboy, cowbell, need more cowbell every single day of my life. If you get that reference, I love you. If you don't, you are too young. Um, I'm, honestly, I'm too young to get that reference, so I'm kind of stupid for saying that. Um, but that pre-chorus pisses me off. It makes me feel like I'm in a mall. Like, I just feel trapped. But that, like, groove, I really love the vocality of her, like, like I like how deep her like and it, her voice sounds so like I just I am envisioning a C I don't know if that makes sense I don't know I don't I don't know if that makes sense but I hope it does like I said in the physical video as well it's really nice to hear like an alto like lower ranged voice it's very pleasing I think I'm gonna skip it because it's not wowing me I did love that cowbell um, but I don't really feel like I want to listen to the rest. I don't know, like, I heard it. I don't really think it's going to offer me anything else. Uh, I don't know. Um, because I don't really like that pre-chorus, like, at all. So this is cool. I don't know if this is mean, but based off of what I'm hearing, I would be very interested to hear um, Demi Lovato sing this song. Like, I wonder, um, I'm a huge Demi Lovato fan. She definitely was a, a huge contribution to my gay awakening, for sure. Don't forget, and here we go again, I honestly believe are two of the greatest albums ever created. Um, and that's period. Personally, I'm not a fan of Demi's music now. I don't really listen to her that much. I don't think she... I think vocally she can do better than the pop music that she produces. Like, I wish she would delve into other genres, but she can do whatever she wants, clearly. I mean, I, I love her. Um, she's, like, as much as people make fun of her, I her story is so inspiring to me as someone who's gone through mental illnesses and now someone going through with an eating disorder. I find her extremely inspiring, and her voice is so amazing and raw. But this song just gives me, like, modern Demi Lovato vibes, and I think it'd be really cool to hear um, her sing it. I don't know. With all of these songs, I see where she's going, but there's something, there's something missing, and I'm not, I'm not a sound producer, I'm not, I don't know what it, there's, mm, I need that oomph, and I don't have it, I don't have it, I don't have it, I'm feeling a little... I don't know guys, I don't know, I'm not trying to be mean, I, please don't come after me, like, please, 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 like, I really do like physical, okay, leave me alone. Um, maybe that, maybe she's just one of those people that I just really love that one song and I don't like anything else. For me, like, my favorite kinds of music, there's a beat, there's a, there's a, I don't know how to explain it, there's, there's this, there's something in the backing of that music that drives the, the vocals, the, the, I'm sorry. I'm like trying to explain it. And I'm I I have I sung growing up and I've played instruments. I've played guitar, clarinet. I've sort of dabbled with the bass. I tried piano for like a little bit. I learned like three songs on there. Um so I have somewhat of an understanding of music, but I'm no professional. I have no expertise. Um but anyways, my point is like I can tell my favorite kind of music is music that has that, like, there's a beat and you feel it in your heart. Um, that goes, like, I love, m like, show tunes and musicals. A lot of musicals have songs that you just feel it. And it's just like, oh, you know? And this is very, I love pop, so don't get me wrong, but this is very commercialized pop. And so I feel like there's something, like, there's something in the back that's just missing. It's just not there. And I, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna stop rambling. I really have no interest to listen to the rest of this. This is cool, by the way. I have no interest really to listen to the rest of it. I'm so sorry. Like
I'm like, I was expecting to just get and just chill and like groove. Everyone was, one of my favorite YouTubers, um, he's Australian, Mike's, Mike, like Mike's, and he does, he's like, wah, 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 wah. his accent kills me. Um, and he's really funny. Um, and he, I, I didn't watch it because I wanted to be like genuinely surprised when I listened to this album because I was planning this video for like, I've been planning this video for like days, okay? This was a gift to me for go following through with the whole week, you know? I'm really proud of myself. Um, <laughs> And I feel great. But um, my point was, I saw him and he was like, Dua Lipa, like his title was something like Pop Princess. Like, so people were amping it up and I'm on the, I'm on levitating. How much is left? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I don't know. I I wasn't expecting this to happen. <laughs> I was not expecting this to happen. Like but I'm gonna I'm gonna give this like twenty more seconds if I can stomach it and then I'm skipping if nothing happens. the rest of this i'm sorry i just i don't like it like ugh, this is like honestly i'm really disappointed like i'm i'm sorry i'm, I'm trying to be positive because like i don't want to be negative i don't want to be negative like nancy like i don't want to like complain but like i just i don't like it i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i don't know i'm sorry there's as like again there's aspects i see where she was going and also like i don't know if her i don't know like future nostalgia like and physical like I was expecting this to be a like a new wave like eight like homage homage to the eighties and this is like not that like it just sounds like Boba Shop Forever Twenty One like clearance rack like me texting my friend like dressing room music like it there's ooh and the goots like where's the flavor I don't know I don't know I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I don't know. For some reason, she reminds me of other singers, but, like, just based off of the beginning, I would love to hear Melanie Martinez sing that. I think her voice would be really, I think it would be really nice. I don't know. I'm gonna, I, I, I have a feeling I might like this one, so let's keep going. This is such a like teasy little flirty happy. I love it. Yes! Finally a song that I want to finish. I'm one minute and 56 seconds in. I don't think I've made it to two minutes for any of these songs so far. We are gonna click the heart button on SoundCloud. This is hot. This is some hot shit. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> I'm dying. Ah, cowbell! I need more cowbell. Okay, that is a win. That's the first song I loved. I loved, that's the first song I liked. 
like, but I ended that, I didn't just like it, I love that shit. I have saved it to my bibliotheque, it is in that shit, it is in there fast. Um, that is a bop, 10 out of 10, that is, I love that just as much as I love physical. Okay, anyways, um, <laughs> I, wow, like, what a blessing, finally, thank God, I was going to be so, like, pretend I do not, I do not see, I do not hear, Mes oreilles sont fermées, fermant, like, oh my god, embarrassment, like, you know, because, yikes, like, I was planning, like I said, I'm having this be a chill, like, chill sitch, you wait, chill sitch, um, but finally a blessing has been bestowed upon my ear holes, and I am so grateful. Thank you, Dula Peep, thank you, Dula Lipa, for Pretty Please. I am a whore for a cowbell. I love... I love cowbell. Cowbell saxophone, immediately I hear it and I'm like, yes, yes. Like, I am so into it. Let's go to hallucinate. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, je suis très désolé, like, oh, ooh la la, like, this is not, this is no, como se dice, no bueno, like, no bueno, baby. I liked the intro and then she started singing, and I was like, um, the <laughs> This album gives me Disney Channel vibes, and I say that because I grew up bop into that shit. See you again. Rock God by Selena Gomez and the scene, naturally. Well, Selena Gomez, honestly, as a kid, I was like, this bitch can't sing. But I like the beat of a lot of her music, so I would listen to it anyways, but I'd be like, this bitch really can't fucking sing. Um, Demi Lovato, I was a huge fan of. Um, I did like Miley shit. Uh, obviously the Jonas Brothers, clearly. Corbin Blue. This just is all giving me, like, Disney Channel, like, Disney Channel party jam vibe. I don't know. It's just... Pretty Please and Physical. Maybe the songs that all begin with P are the ones that I should just stand. Um, I'm just gonna go on to Love Again. Hallucinate can't give me anything else. Uh, I loved that intro. It's like decisions are made that I love and then decisions are made that I hate. The theater kid in me was like mystified by that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to continue. I'm going to give it. I'm already 30 seconds in. That's my rule, guys. Honestly, I've always been that way. If you don't thrill me in the first 30 seconds, I no longer care. Like, and I know that's maybe... No, all my favorite songs, every single song that I like in the planet of songs and the whole history of songs have wooed me. Like, so I don't think that's... A... I don't know, maybe... I don't know, I don't know. But if I don't like it in the first 30 seconds, it's not really bopping. But I'm at 32, so I, I want to give it at least 10 more seconds, but... I already hate it. Um, I don't know. I don't like the transition. That beginning, I felt like I was in a, I felt like I was in a spaceship rising, and I felt like so beautiful. And I was hoping for it to be maybe a slow song. I was hoping for her to thrill us with her vocals. Um, I was hoping to hear that. Like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry.
I love that violin, and I wish they would have made that the focus of the song. Um, I'm not gonna listen anymore. I my ears aren't liking it, and I don't want to be like a bitch, so I'm just not gonna listen anymore. Um, we're moving on to break my heart, and my heart has been broken, honestly. Like, I'm kind of bummed now. Like, I'm gonna have to like blast. Like, I don't know. I need some like recovery music after this. Like, I'm, I'm honestly like pissed. Like, I don't like, I don't like when people like. I don't know sometimes things are so gassed up like, things are like hyped and I get so excited and then like it's like It's such a shitty feeling and I hate that feeling and that's low-key what this feels like um, But I I love pretty please so if anything thank God I got one new song out of it one new song to play until I have tattooed the lyrics into my brain And you know um uh, But yeah love again is a I don't love it again. I've never loved it before. So let's go to break my heart. Hopefully my heart won't be broken. <laughs> It's, it's probably the only other song besides Pretty Please that my brain is reacting somewhat positive to. Um, I feel like I need to listen to it over and over again. Maybe. Am I grasping at straws here because I don't want to be a bitch? I'm perceived as a bitch? I don't know. Um, eh, eh, eh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep listening. Let's see what happens. This is the only other song where I've been able to get to the two minute mark. Um, I like it. I don't love it. I like it. Um, I like that, like, da -da -da -da. it's definitely more of a 70s, I'd say, uh, kind of disco vibe. I love that bass. I am a, oof, if the bass is there, I'm there. You feel me, dog? Like, that is how it is. That's how it be. Um, hmm. Um, I don't really feel like listening to the rest. It's not like... I like it, but it's not like keeping my interest. It's just something I hear and go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, good in bed. Hope it's good in my ears. No, 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 I'm done. We're moving on to the last final song. Okay. I never, bye, bye, bye. What? Excuse me? Excuse moi? Qu'est-ce que ça? Hmm? We're on the last song, y'all. This has been a bit of a flop. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Because if you see, I'm, I was really looking forward to reacting to her album. I was looking forward to listening to it. I mean, hopefully a lot of people won't watch it because I know it's like I'm about two weeks late on the... I'm three weeks late, really. Um, so hopefully people have already moved on and they love... People love it. Love it. If you love it, you love it. You know, live your life. Live your truth, boo. Do you? Yes, but no. <laughs> That, I never said, bye, 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 bye. That is awful. That's horrible.
That is horrible. I'm sorry. Like, it's stuck in my head now, and I just want it to, like, get out of my head. Let's do Boys Will Be Boys. <sighs> Let's, I'm... Uh. It's second nature to walk home before the sun goes down. Now put your keys between your knuckles when there's boys around. Okay, this is one of those, like, let me be socially aware pop songs. <laughs> I'm no tea, no shade, genuinely. Ge genuinely, excuse me, genuinely. I thought I wasn't expecting it to be that. That's all why I'm saying that. Um, I was, let's just continue. We love it off the night of it, when there's nothing funny here. Her voice sounds amazing. Um, sometimes I get a little annoyed when singers do that, uh, like that squeaky, like moan thing over and over again. She's doing that, but it actually, she, I think, makes it work. Um, it's crazy because, like, one kiss and new rules, one don't pick up. I would have never guessed that she had an accent. Like, I literally, like, I don't remember when I first heard her voice. Like, oh my god, it was the physical video. It was the physical video, I think, and. She's like, all right, like, let's get, let's warm up, like, let's stretch. I can't do it. I really can't. I can. We're at the 36 second mark. I'm not really amazed. Um, it's, it's all right. I'm going to listen to a little bit more of it. And then, I mean, it's the last song. I don't know. No. No. I gave her a chance. I gave her a chance. Y'all watched it. It's documented live. Um, I gave her a chance. It's not for me. It's a no for me. Pretty please, physical, and um, what was it? Break My Heart, was that the one? Those are the only songs, in my opinion, worth listening if you haven't checked out the album. This is a flop. I'm actually very disappointed. Um, I'm honestly, like, gutted a little bit. I know that sounds dramatic, but I've been looking forward to this for, like, a lot, like, many days. I like, love discovering new music, and, um, I, like, I've been listening to the same people, so, you know. I was really looking forward to adding some new tunes to my bibliotheque and yeah, I will add one new song. So hey, I, I got blessed with one song. Thank you for Pretty Please. I really appreciate it. That was so much fun. I loved the cowbell. Like physical Pretty Please and, and Break My Heart are the only songs that like I like cared about and I thought sounded good. Everything else, in my opinion, sounds extremely manufactured commercial Disney Channel pop, which is fine. Um, I love pop music, so I'm not anti-pop. Most of the music I listen to would probably be choreographed as dance electronic pop, honestly. So I'm no hater of commercialized, like, like, um, like Kim Petras. Okay, she's really good at like having that pop sound, Poppy's early stuff. No pun intended. She had a very pop bubblegum sound. Charlie XCX, you know, mixes pop and electronic. I love that sound. Um, so I have no problem with that sound, but it has to be done, in my opinion, in a way we haven't heard. When music, like, except for, like, this sounds like radio music. This sounds like something I've heard. It doesn't sound organic to me. I'm fairly disappointed. Um, if I had to rate this out of five stars, two, two and a half. I, I don't know. It's your, take your pick. Um, I'm sorry. I hope, like, please don't come for me. I don't know. No, that's my opinion. Fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yikes. Out of town. <laughs> All consistent flakes. 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 That's what I just said. Flakes. This was supposed to be, like, me being positive. Like, I don't like to be, like, a complainer. I don't like to be mean. But, like, when... I'm just the kind, like, because I grew up singing and I grew up around music, when I hear something that's not pleasing, I just don't want to hear it. I turn it off. Get it away from me. Stop the tape. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Um, I'm just, like, not into it. So, this is a no for me. Um, but I, <laughs> I hope, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm 
sorry. I'm really sorry. Like, I wasn't, I was not, I just want to be, I want to state for the record, I was not expecting this. I was expecting to love it, okay? Y'all saw how excited I was in the beginning. I, I was gonna listen to her previous work, but now I have absolutely no interest to do so. Um, I guess stream physical, stream pretty please, and if you feel like it, stream break my heart. If you like the album, go you, no tea, no shade, boo boo, it's just not for me, it's a no for me. Um, anyways, <laughs> my name is Happy Black Lightning, <laughs> thank you so much for watching, um, please subscribe. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Like, I saw so many people talking this shit up. Okay. Um. Bye.